All right, so listen, you guys, this is the message for today. Thank you. Can you share this to the other page? To the to the other page for me. Thank you, Ria. Okay. Listen, you guys. Know that the Lord is helping you release all of your anger and all of the unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Okay, so you can be open to greater love. Know that the Lord is helping you so you can start seeing clearly. Okay, even when it comes down to his love, his grace, and his mercy, he's helping you as well. Know that God is in charge of how things will happen. Okay, like some of you are waiting on money, waiting on help as well. Know that the Lord knows what you need. He's in charge of how that will happen. You have faith because you are going to get it as well. Okay. Also, it's time for you to start taking care of yourself. Take this time to take care of yourself and honor your word. Okay? You're busy taking care of everybody else and you are forgetting about you. Take care of you. Do something nice for you as well. To make a decision, you guys, ask yourself what brings you closer to your purpose. What takes you away from your purpose? What's going to make you happy? Not only but you, but your family as well. What's going to make you happy? Make your decision from your heart. Make your choice from your heart so you will not regret what decision that you have made. Don't allow your insecurities to stand in the way. Don't allow your insecurities to hold you back. Know that the Lord will help you. Okay? He will help you. Especially when it's pertaining to your life purpose. And you have insecurities. Even when it comes down to talking to people and helping people. Okay? Or standing in front of people. Know that the Lord is helping you with your insecurities. All right. Know that the Lord is also giving you courage to make the changes that you need to make as well. It's like you need courage. You need it. Victory is all around you guys. Keep up the good work as well. Know that there's going to be many of you that are in relationships. It's that you guys are going to be reigniting the passion in your relationship. Okay, be open to give and receive. And for some of you that are looking for a relationship, be open. Okay, be open because you are going to be in relationships really soon. That's what some of you really want is love. Know that the Lord, the creator of earth is sending you blessings. He's answering your prayers as well. Please keep your arms open to receive. Know that the Lord is sending you peace. Peace. In your time of need, okay? Know that your prayers have been answered. Have faith. Give all your cares and your worries over to the Lord. Let him take your burdens. Let him, okay? Know that the verse is over. You've been through a rough time, a rough patch in your life, okay? The verse is behind you. You can, you are now surrounding yourself with positive people, okay? Know that it's also time for you to start being a leader. Start being a leader, especially, oh my gosh, especially if you have little children. Stop being that parent. Stop being a role model, okay? Some of you have children, adult children, 15, 14, 16, that is smoking, drinking, you have to talk to your children about that because that is not good, okay? Know that you are stronger than you know. You are stronger than you know. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, okay? Stop second-guessing yourself and keep pressing through, okay? Know that you are at the end of an era, the end of a difficult time. It is over with, okay? It is time for you now to start walking in prosperity, Keep pressing through, okay? Know that the Lord is giving you courage 
so you can get past those insecurities. All right? Get your motivation back for life. What is it that you enjoy doing? Get your motivation back, even when it comes down to life, even when it comes down to love. Find what makes you happy and, and do it. If you like sewing, sew, and you stop, sew. Get your motivation back. Find something that you like and do it. Stop being true to yourself. There's no need for you to lie to you. You are who you are. Be true to yourself. Things you don't change, change. If you find it hard to change, ask the Lord to help you. And he will. Okay? Some of you are fine, like seeking. You, you seeking. You seeking. Okay? Seek the Lord. You're trying to find out a lot what's going on. Like you seeking and you finding out as well. Even you looking for the Lord. You too is finding him as well. Take this message and share with other people also. Okay? You also need to start getting your finances in order. Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Let go of your financial fears. Let go of the fears when it comes down to bills. When it comes down to money. Why are you afraid to spend money? Are you afraid of being broke? Address those issues. Know that the Lord is a healer. Not only a healer, but he's a provider. It's time for you to start letting go of all the guilt from the past. Let go of the mistakes you've made as well. And learn. Learn from your mistakes. And let it go. And start letting God. It's time for you to heal. Okay? It's time for you to also start eating healthier. Clean food. Green food. Plenty of water. Okay? So you can have energy. So you can be healthy. Also start donating, tithing to people that's a, that is very encouraging. People that help you. Even help with charity. Always think positive and speak positive at all times. Know that positivity opens doors. Okay, speaking positive, thinking positive, that open doors, okay? It also keeps, removes stumbling blocks as well. Don't allow negative energy or temporary setbacks, which are problems. Don't allow that to interfere on your path, okay? You got to move past it, okay? Pray about it and keep moving. Keep pressing through, okay? And that's where that don't give up, press through, come in at. Keep the faith and keep going. Don't give up. Know that some of you are also need, you need to heal from the past. Okay? Let go of those things that be been hurting you. Let go of the past. Okay? All of the problems from the past. All of the hurt from the past. Some of you are healing from the past right now. Okay? And some of you need to because you're still holding on to the pain, the drama, the arguments. Okay? You're still holding on to it. It's time to let go and heal. It's time to heal. Okay? Also start having patience with people and with yourself as well. Be patient with you and with other people also. Like, give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Don't be so hard on yourself. And some of you are also starting to realize, realize the changes that you're making as well. You're starting to realize more great things are starting to happen in your life. Your eyes are starting to open as well. The Lord say he wants you all to be open to receive as well. Okay, be open to receive his many of blessings that's coming to you. Also, don't be afraid to tell other people about the Lord as well. The things that you've learned, share with others. Okay, have the courage to ask the Lord for help. 
ask the Lord for help, but also have courage to ask other people for help also. The same way how you ask the Lord for help, ask others for help also. Okay? You never know who the Lord blesses to be a blessing to you. So don't be afraid to ask someone to help you. Okay? And also, sometimes you might don't need to, to ask someone. Someone will just come approach you and, and want to help you. Accept the help. Okay? Accept the help. And also help other people when guided. Almost like a pay it forward. Someone help you, you help someone else. That's a kind act. That's being kind. That's showing that you have the Lord within you. But God is love. It's time for to start doing all things in love. Also, start taking care of yourself first. Even when it comes down to your bills, pay you first. Pay you first, okay? It is also time for you to start taking a chance. Every successful person took a chance. When you just take a chance, you also taking a risk as well, okay? Some of you need to start moving forward with things as well. Some of you have promotions lined up for you also. Listen, it's like you just got so comfortable in the spot where you are in now to where there's a higher position for you as well, Okay? Don't be afraid of change. Take nothing but positivity with you. Okay? You sitting in this position, it no longer, it's no, it's not appropriate for you because you are elevated. You elevated. You moved higher. You know more now. Okay? So now it's time for you to start having new opportunities. Okay, know that there's power in prayer. Pray about it all. Pray always. Pray always. Okay, acknowledge, acknowledge that you are learning a lot about the Lord. You know a lot more about the Lord as well. And you have to start encouraging other people. Tell other people about the Lord. That is what the Lord wants. He wants us to start talking about him. And we, he wants us to start sharing what we learn to other people, okay? Don't forget that it's time to start being kind. It is time to start meeting new people. Connect with new people as well. Be friends with people. Start letting your light shine. Start letting them know about the Lord as well. Okay? Also, stop putting your priorities first. Put your priorities first. Make you a priority also. Stop making things happen. Stop being grateful for what you have. Let go of the fear. Let it go. It is also time for you to start seeing people's point of view as well. You're not always right. So start looking at other people's point of view also. Okay? Now know that the Lord is helping you with your with your life purpose. He's helping you with your life. He's helping you get on the right path. He's helping you to be a success. He's helping you to let go of your fear. He's helping you. Know that teaching people and talking to people about the Lord is your life purpose also. And that's why you're hearing, share, your, share what you learn with other people. Tell them how good the Lord has been to you. Tell them about the changes you have been seeing since you've been learning more about the Lord. Have confidence in yourself as well, okay? It is also time for you to start aligning yourself up with your values. Yes. 
and knowing what's right for you. You serve the Lord, line yourself up, your actions, your actions. You're a child of, child of God, so act, align your actions up with it. Do a child of God do that? Do a child of God post fights on Facebook? Do a child of the Lord be in the street? Ripping and running and carrying on, yelling and screaming and carrying on, all in public. Do they do that? So start aligning your actions up, okay? Get things in order. Know that it is also time for you to start forgiving your parents, okay, for your past hurt. It is time for you to heal. It is time for you to start forgiving your parents for the things that they have done that was wrong to you. Even when childhood, growing up, even if you felt like they wasn't there, even if you felt like they didn't protect you, it... Listen, it is time for you to forgive your parents. Know that it is safe for you to be powerful, but do it in a loving way. Take charge of your life in positive ways. Okay? Know that the Lord is answering your prayers. Know your self-worth also. Okay? Let go of the fear. Even when it comes down to you afraid of people being taking control of you. Let go of that fear. Okay? Let go of the control issue. There's no need to control anyone. There's no reason for anyone to be controlling you. Let it go. Know your worth. Okay? So I'm going to put a praise. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Focus on your priorities no matter what. Stop being patient with yourself. Stop being patient with other people. Give yourself and other people the benefit of the doubt. Share what you learn about the Lord with other people. Some of you need to... Is going through a phase right now where you're constantly changing your mind. And you have to start trusting yourself. You have to have confidence. And you have to stop believing in you. That's why you're changing your mind because you don't believe in you. Your confidence isn't up. You don't know if you should go. You don't know if you should stay. You don't know what to do. And you whining and boo crying because you don't know. You're constantly changing your mind. You know you want to go, but then you don't want to go. You know you need to do this, but you don't want to do this. And now you're in a pickle. And some of you are changing your mind. You have to trust yourself. Okay? Build up your confidence and trust you. Have faith in God, okay? Have faith in God. When it comes down to love, you guys, listen. Get your passion back. Even inside of a relationship, you got to get your passion back. Get that love back when it comes down to you. And wanting to be in a relationship, and you are in a relationship, even when you're married, get your passion back. Allow your heart to be open. Allow your heart to feel love. Okay? It is also time for you to recapture the romance. Recapture the romance because some of you are in relationships now and it's starting to fade. It's starting to like deteriorate. Okay, so we're going to save your marriage. The Lord wants to save your marriage. He wants to put it back together again. Okay, putting it back together again. It's time for you to open your heart and get that passion back to loving one another. It is also time, so time for you to start. Being a little flirting with each other. Flirt with each other. Be playful with each other as well. Recapture the romance. Allow you allow yourself to feel the love. Okay? Like be open to receive the love as well. Know that some of you also need to start loving yourself first. You love yourself more. 
this message is for everyone. This is a group message. Take what applies to you and share with others. Okay? Your self-respect and you taking care of yourself you putting yourself first is what's going to attract someone to you. Okay? So love yourself first. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you are happy. And know that very soon, very soon, some of you will be in relationships. You just got to really decide what you want. You got to decide what it is that you want. Do you want to be in a relationship? Do you really want to be in a relationship? So decide what you want, okay? So that it can come to you, okay? So have faith in God. Also, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep the word of God. We're going to talk about that today, okay? But you can find that in Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So as you hear this word, keep the word and share the word with others, okay? Share what you learn to other people. You never know what they're going through. And just a little bit of inspiration of what you learn will really turn things around for them in their life. Know that there is victory all around you. Success all around you. Favor all around you as well. Know that things are going to come out in your favor also. It really is. So stop doubting yourself. Trust the Lord and have faith in the Lord. Know that the Lord is blessing you with many opportunities as well. It is time for you all to start moving forward with things. And life also let go of the fear. Because fear is not of the Lord. And trust yourself. Know that the Lord is always with you. Will never leave your side. Know that God loves you. The creator of heaven and earth. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and I love you, and there is nothing that you can do about it. You guys, be blessed, okay? And Lord, I thank you for each and every one that hears this message, Lord, and that is on here now, Lord. Lord, I ask that you continue to protect them from all forms of hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. Let no weapon form against them prosper. Keep them safe in your arms, Lord. Strengthen them all with their weak. Draw them all closer to you. Not only them, but draw us all closer to you, Lord, including our family and friends, Lord, and our neighbors, Lord. Bless us with joy, peace, happiness, love. Continue to bless us, Lord. Continue to show up and show out. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. 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 You guys be blessed.